Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel, The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button down below. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing a bit of a mini haul unboxing, you know, situation. <laughs> and um, just some things that I've gotten over the past few weeks. Um, so I'm going to be showing you off those. Um, all the info for the products are going to be in the description box below because I do have some skincare items that I get asked about a lot. So I'll pop all the info down in the description box. Um, and also, if you have any more questions about it, please pop them in the comments. And um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first item I picked up from Louis Vuitton a few weeks back and um, I've actually unboxed this item on my Instagram account, the closet by Connor underscore. I did a reel on it. So if you want to actually see the unboxing, head over to my Instagram. But um, I purchased this item because um, a few weeks before getting this, I actually purchased this um, men's stole from Louis Vuitton off eBay for $150. You heard correctly. And um, I really love the style and the kind of fabric and how lightweight it is, especially in winter in Brisbane. Um, most of my scarves are either like a heavy wool blend or like a cashmere, and it does get a bit hot. There's probably one good week in winter in Brisbane where you can get away with it, but then all the other ones, it does get a bit hot wearing something really thick. But these kind of cotton silk blend stoles are perfect. They're, they're a great length. Um, they're a great kind of thickness and lightness, if that's if that's a word, but they're just really, really good for wearing. And um, I thought, okay, perfect, like it works for me. So I'm going to, when Louis Vuitton come out with one, um, you know, on their website that I like, I'm just going to purchase it because I found that the styles that do come out, you either love it or you hate it. So um, this current season with the men's collection, I'm not sure if it's fall, winter, autumn, spring, summers, whatever it is. I don't really, I'm not really up to date with all that stuff, but I purchased this one from the men's collection. Um, they have two colors. They have beige and blue, but of course I get blue because beige makes me look like a potato sack. Um, and basically it is a very simple um, cotton silk blend stall. Is that how you pronounce it? Stall? I don't know. That's just what it reads to me. Um, and it is 70% cotton, 30% linen, this one. My other one was, I think, 95% cotton, 5% silk. But nonetheless, um, the fabric is really, really soft, but not delicate. Like, it's got a bit of grit to it, which I do like. I don't need something to make my neck feel soft. Um, but I love it because it's this beautiful kind of um, striped, linen-y... Um, I don't even know what you'd describe it. It's kind of just a bit shabby chic. Like, it, does that make sense? Like, it's a bit rough around the edges, but it's like that blue and stripe, blue and white stripe on one side. And then the other side, it's got monogram, which is really good. So you can kind of dress it up or down depending on what you want to do. But um, it's really long, really wide. It's perfect. And um, I just fell in love with the color. So. You know, when you like something, you just got to buy it. But yeah, you can wear it with the monogram facing out or then you can flip it around the other way and just have the stripe or you can do kind of both, I guess. But so I picked this one up from Louis Vuitton last week or the week before. And um, yeah, the next item I picked up was from Hermes. Now, this isn't anything amazing, but it was something that I wanted to get um, because it'll make sense when I open it. Alrighty, so you've got the little Hermes box, ribbon. So this is the Hermes Tarmac passport holder. And of course I got that because going away on a trip, right? As we all know. And my previous passport holder, I still have it. It's a Louis Vuitton one in uh, Damia Abin. But um, I kind of wanted something that was a bit more low key, especially when um, I'll be carrying, I'll have my passport on me at all times sort of thing. So I picked up this Louis, Louis Vuitton. I picked up this Hermes one just because it was a little bit understated, a bit more neutral. And it is in the color uh, Gris Maya or Maya. I'm not sure you how to pronounce the last word, but I'll pop it down in the description box. Um, it's in Epsom leather. Um, so it's very 
kind of a hardy leather and it's got um, a black kind of press stud just to kind of break up the color. And it's honestly a very basic passport holder. It's just a passport sleeve. Um, and it's basically just a bit of a, bit of a passport flex. It's really nothing special. It doesn't have slots or anything in it like that. Um, but it's just something to pop your passport in just so, you know, <laughs> you can flex. <laughs> but, um, I really love the color. It's a kind of, yeah, like a gray, gray color. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's a really simple, basic. Um, it costs $345. So I guess in the Hermes world, it's not overly expensive, but expensive what it is, but I don't care. Um, I was going to get like a really fun bright colour, but then I was like, I can't be bothered, I'll just get like this neutral one. Um, but yes. Next is this bag that I picked up from Longchamp. Now, I don't really know too much about Longchamp, um, but I found out about this bag from their latest collection, the Replay Collection from Nick Snell. Um, he did a video on this collection, which I will link up above. Definitely go and check out Nick's channel because he has some fantastic content content on there especially within the Longchamp realm um, but I um, picked up this bag from the Brisbane store I just ordered it online and just clicked and collected it <laughs> um, and I had it ready like 20 minutes after I did that so I'll show you what it is so the bag comes in this kind of paper bag thing. Not sure how I feel about Longchamp's packaging. So this bag is from the Replay Collection, which is a collection that Longchamp have recently released where it's made up entirely of recycled material. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I kind of pulled the trigger, I guess, on this bag um, because of the style. So as I kind of bring it down, it's a kind of long tote style. So it's going to be great for me to use for work. And I kind of liked that it is this beautiful royal blue on the back. And then on the front, it's this kind of dark red. They call it red lacquer or liqueur or whatever. I can't remember the exact name. Um, but I kind of liked that it's these two-tone colours. And then the leather trim and the handle is this kind of sandalwood colour. Um, but it all kind of just works. I guess it's a fun kind of easy going bag. Um, I'll have a magnitude of purposes that I can use it for. But I just thought, look, you know, it's not every day that they bring out a kind of top handle tote bag that will fit my laptop and everything in it as well. Um, so I just thought I'd get it. Um, it cost 160 Australian dollars, which is very inexpensive for a bag like this, I guess, for the brand and everything like that. Um, and yeah, the inside of the bag is kind of lined in this kind of waterproof material, I guess. Um, very similar to my other Longchamp bag. And then it's got one large slip pocket on this side. It's got a little card in there got one large slip pocket in here and then it's got a smaller um, slip pocket I guess that you could probably put airpods or something in on this side oh, there's another card Longchamp um, and then that's all it's to it there's just the normal um, flat press stud kind of part to it but it's a very kind of simple casual bag um, but I think it's good value for money for what it is and I kind of wanted something that had this really striking um, kind of royal blue on it because it is a kind of a hard color to wear but because it's a you know inexpensive bag I guess I can get away with it but we'll see how this one goes and last on the list are some skincare products that I picked up from Paula's Choice most of these are um, like me ordering backups because I'm halfway through or about to run out of current products that I have from them. So the first item is this cleanser from Paula's Choice. It's in the uh, Resist range, which is one of my favorite ranges that they have. Um, and the reason why I love this Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser is because it's creamy. I don't like, um, so it's a kind of like a really like milky texture. I don't like gel cleansers I find it they really kind of make my skin feel really gross and 
um, like really stripping and I just find that these kind of cream ones are a lot better at kind of cleaning my face, getting all the gross dirt and stuff off from the day um, and then when I'm ready to get out of the shower and do like my toner and everything, I feel a lot better. I know, I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, I just prefer the cream cleansers. Um, so I'll pop the details of all of these products down below. Obviously this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. These are just products that I've used for ages that I find work really well, especially because I have rosacea and um, really bad um, combination skin, especially in winter, it goes all gross. So um, I'll definitely pop all the info down below, but that's the first item, this cleanser. The next item is the toner from the same collection, the Resist range. And this toner is my favorite toner because it is like an opaque, milky kind of texture as well. It's not a, um, a gel or a very clear toner. Um, and it's got hyaluronic acid in it too. Um, I found that when I don't use toner before doing my normal skincare, I don't get the best coverage with the moisturizers and the serums and stuff after. And I also find that the skincare does not set into my skin properly as it does, as well as it does when I use a toner. And I found that out when I actually run out of a toner and I couldn't be bothered doing a whole order just to get this. Um, so I didn't use it for about maybe two to three weeks and I noticed a very, very big difference and not in a good way. Um, my skincare would kind of flake off a bit. Um, it wouldn't kind of seep into my skin as well. I'd have to do a lot more rubbing and a lot more kind of spreading out. And I found it would kind of bunch up in certain places on my face. Um, and I also found that... Um, when I would kind of wake up in the morning, normally when I use toner, I can still feel the skincare kind of lightly on my face. Um, but when I didn't use the toner, I found that it would kind of look like my skin was flaking a little bit and it kind of had come off. Um, so I definitely recommend using a toner. Like I said before, this one is from the Resist range. It's very light. It's like a milky kind of opaque texture um, and it sets into your skin really quickly and it allows your skin to absorb the skincare that you put on after. So your serums and your moisturizers and everything like that. So I strongly recommend using a toner because as I said before, it actually does a lot. <laughs> The next item is from the Omega range, and this is the Omega Complex Serum with chia seeds, sorry, with chia and flaxseed. Um, this is an amazing um, serum, and I think the price point of it, the re uh, like the standalone retail price is about $44 for 30 mils, um, and it goes a long way. Um, you use about, I use about one, two, three pea size, like, I'll show you what it comes out as. So it comes out like this. So I probably use about three of these and it, you know, one kind of spit goes a long way. It goes, I probably get all of this part of my face and probably here, but the serum goes a long way. Hopefully it doesn't make my skin go really red now on camera because I haven't, um, done any other skincare today but uh yeah this serum goes a long way and it is so light it goes it absorbs straight into my skin it feels really fresh and it um it doesn't make my skin go crazy i know some serums i have really bad reactions to because my skin is so sensitive um but i really love this one um i always buy it and it's fresh and i've noticed a lot of results it really does kind of keep my skin it makes it look a lot fuller and it makes it look a lot more like, uh, what's the word? Like, I don't want to say elasticity because that's a bit of a wanky word to use, but it kind of makes it feel a bit more like fuller, a bit more full. I can't explain it. I'm not a skincare expert. I don't know all the terms and stuff, but I just know that this really does work. <laughs> it works for me. I get the results that I want from it. Um, and it's a really great price point too for a serum. Now the next uh, product I have is also from the Resist range and it is the Intensive Repair Cream with Retinol. Now I will either use this as a moisturizer after I've done my toning um, and my um, serum, I will use this at night time, um, but because it has retinol in it, I don't use it every single night. Normally I like to give my skin a break when using um, a retinoid product because if I use it every night, it all catches up on one day and my skin obviously starts to peel like it's supposed to do with retinol um, and it gets really red and blotchy while it's doing that peeling process. So um, 
Normally that always falls on an important day when I don't want my skin to be looking like absolute shit, but so <laughs> I try to space out using a heavy retinol product like this, but it is a moisturizer. Um, it is very thick. Um, I actually used it last night. It's very thick um, and kind of creamy and you put it on like a little pump like that would also do the whole side of my face. So it's a very kind of thick cream that really sets well into your skin the next morning after wearing this your your skin feels so rich and it feels very hydrated and um, moisturized and um, because it does have retinoids in it it obviously helps with the anti-aging process eliminating fine lines all of that stuff that it's supposed to do definitely go and do a lot of research on retinoids so you understand what these kind of um, chemicals in skincare do but I really do love using this one um, I believe I actually got it as a freebie the very first time. Um, Paula's Choice, they generally do um, really, really substantial gift with purchases and they have good sales on. So I think this was how I got into this kind of product, but I probably use it um, maybe every third day or every second day, depending on what I'm doing. But um, yes, I'll pop it down in the description box below. And the last product I got is my all time favorite moisturizer from Paula's Choice. The, it's from the um, Amiga range, like my serum was from, and it's the water infusing electrolyte moisturizer. Um, and honestly, best moisturizer ever for me. Um, it, this is the 50 mil size, um, but it is so, it actually looks a bit funny when you first look at it. It kind of looks a bit curdled, um, but it is, it smells really fresh. Um, doesn't really have a lot of smell. Lots of the Paula's Choice products don't have fragrance, so um, they don't really have a smell. But this just goes on so light. It's so fresh and um, it just sets in on your skin really well. And it's just a really kind of fresh feeling. And the morning when I wake up after putting it on, my skin just feels amazing. Um, and I really don't know what else to say about it. It's just one of those products that when I put on my skin, I know it feels great. I know it works. It keeps my skin moisturized. I, it really helped, especially in the start of winter here when my skin started to go all flaky and dry. It really helped kind of bring back that volume to my skin. Um, and it's a kind of a good price point for a kind of um, moisturizer. I think it's about $44 or $45 or something like that. I'll, obviously, I'll pop it all down below. Um, but it says replenishes vital hydration and nutrients, electrolytes, recharge tired skin, me, and weightless whipped texture. Oh, yeah. So I guess that's why I would say it looks curdled. It's very whipped. But it's just a good product. A lot of the Paula's Choice products are really great. Um, and I strongly recommend trialing out some of them if you're looking for different skincare products to kind of add in, especially because the price point's really good. With the Paula's Choice products, I strongly recommend, especially on the Australian website, waiting for a sale. I only really stock up when they have a 20% sale. And generally when they have a sale like that, they will have a free gift with purchase. Um, they usually do a full-sized serum, which is normally about $65, or a booster like a vitamin C or a niacinamide, something like that. So you really do get good value for money. And um, yeah, so I generally wait till there's a sale um, and, you know, good little gift with purchase. So definitely wait for that if you are looking at checking out some of their products and let me know how you go, I guess. I've probably used the Paula's Choice products maybe for about four or five years now and I do use some other skincare brands with certain things but generally most of my skincare collection comes from that brand. Um, people do ask me a lot what kind of skincare I use so there are some of the products um, and yeah so thank you so much for watching this video. I really um, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's only a little unboxing kind of thing but Hopefully it can kind of be played in the background while you're doing stuff or can be a little chill out time for you to have a little look. But thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you could give this video the thumbs up as it helps out with my channel. And I hope to see you all next time. Thank you for watching, guys.